What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Japan. Today was kind of an impromptu, impromptu video. Uh, I was scrolling through Facebook this morning and saw there was a car show that was not being advertised very well. Uh, it was today, so $10 entry fee to have some, some prizes. Figured I might as well roll in, check it out, see what they got. Hopefully I win. I won't because they're really, really clean cars here. Let's check them out. So this is the entrance where I came in to pay here. But I like how they have the Evo and the GT4 uh, blocking entry so people can't get in. Well, uh, we'll start by checking these cars out. Yes. I love the GT4. I love the Evo. I love them all. You guys know that. I, got a, I don't remember him having that roof wing. The white 1552 wheels. Evo 6 looking good in white. The bronze Advans. Oh, I'm sorry, the bronze Wed Sports. It just looks so good. I think the Evo's a couple all wheel drive legends right here. That's awesome. I think Evo's look so good in white. A lot of silver fives. Oh, they got pizza over here. Nice. So I didn't actually notice this car until just now. This Fair, the Z32 Fairlady Z. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I walked past it and I was like, man, that color is gorgeous. Paint's in really good shape. Look at the intake, aftermarket piping, Mishimoto radiator. I see intercoolers hiding a little cooler down there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I like that plate though. The Nissan plate on the, on the top of the engine there. That's Fuse box, that's cool. It looks like AMS made both of those. Aftermarket wheels. It is a T-top. Man, this would be such a perfect car to own in Okinawa. SSR wheels. It's like aftermarket exhaust as well. Twin turbo. Of course, you gotta sell the bay. See a Nismo horn button. That's pretty cool. It is an automatic, so, but that's not a big deal, honestly. You can do those swaps pretty easily. Check out, we have a couple, I don't know if all these cars are in the car show or not, but here's a S15 Spec S Silvia. R3, or I guess they're called ER34s, the sedan variant. JZX90. Chaser's always, always representing. <laughs> I do love these, both these Aristos are really nice. Love the wheels, this is in the last video, if you guys remember the last car's video. The work wheels, staggered setup, looking really good. Hope that uh, music in the background doesn't screw us over here. Man. Ultimate family sedan, the 2JZ. And just so you guys know, the secret is out. These things used to be like two or three thousand dollars, and they're skyrocketing up to ten to fifteen right now. Obviously, because the motor itself costs between seven and eight thousand, or between seven and ten thousand as it is. So, not a bad steal. Really awesome. They uh, turned the music down so I could film right here next to the speakers. Got some work stagger wheels on another Aristo. Oh, yeah. See the Apexi intake. Man, I really like those wheels. And if you guys don't know. The biggest giveaway to, to know if the Aristo has a 2JZ is, is the Vertex ed Edition badge, and also the rear badge. Oh, this one doesn't have, but, well this one's been debadged, but it also will have the uh, V300 here. So you, that way you can tell at a glance. We have a R34 Skyline GTT, really unique wing. This one is chick, chick driven. Nice big front mount. Xenon headlights, sunroof, I'm jealous. You got an Instagram here, if you guys wanna keep an eye on the build. You got another chick driven Evo here, which is awesome. Rocking the white Advans. I believe this is the six, judge by the front over. Oh yeah, check out the Shift knob is awesome. Oh shit, bar. <laughs> I like the uh, everything is fine on the on the gauge cluster there. See so, yeah, aftermarket boost gauge. 
<laughs> I always like reading the stickers. I'm slow, be patient, <laughs> hella cute. <laughs> Instead of hella flush and stuff, that's awesome. Then we have Austin's beautiful twin turbo Supra, staggered Volk T T37 SLs. Sorry guys, I am so out of breath. I had a huge breakfast burrito. Oh, if you want to check out the Supra build, there you go. Kyoko Supra, I follow him. I've been following him for years now. Got a big front mouth, so he ordered the, the big single for this. Oh, Geo's pulling in. So this car will be fast pretty soon. We got the JZX100 Chaser. Duckbill wing, full kit. This looks like a drift car, if I'm not mistaken. Nice little one JZ with a big aftermarket turbo. That's awesome. I think I bet the thing's pretty nasty. And you guys know my car. I cleaned it up a little bit today, for once. It's looking dirty. And we got Pat's R34 GTT. Loving the carbon fiber lip to the wing here. This color is gorgeous. Got the V-spec rear bumper, aftermarket exhaust, the raised wheels. This car is so beautiful, man. Momo wheel. I'm sorry, Nism yeah, the Nismo logo there, though. R red seat. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. We got Lance's. My bad. <laughs> we got Lance's Celady here. Oh yeah, so pretty. Just got his Haltech hooked up. Got all the all the goodies. Uh, aftermarket turbo, making some more power now. But I love the way the Celady looks. Gorgeous paint. It's not black. It's actually midnight purple. Midnight purple. Carbon fiber B pillar. Roof wing. Nardi wheel. Love the Koki tails. It's so good. The car is so clean. Got an Evo 4 over here. Let's see aftermarket exhaust. Evo 7 wheels, I think. Or 8, 9, 8, 7, 8, 9. They all look pretty similar. I'm not sure. I heard this is fully built though. I love that uh, Tomei heat shield with the painted uh, valve cover. It looks really good. I think this is the one I said was fully built. I do see a, it looks like an upgraded turbo on there as well. And this car's pretty quick. We have a, another R34 sedan, big front mount. I want one of these, I like these cars so much. I think they look really good in a sedan form. Ricardo seat, gauges on the dash. Oh yeah, aftermarket exhaust carbon fiber uh, exhaust port shield cool car so this is an Evo 4 with an Evo, Evo 5 rear end setup aftermarket fenders you can see there the, see the, the bulge there that's pretty cool you don't see that very often city wants to do like a custom uh, carbon fiber wing on here it'd be pretty pretty awesome a silver Evo 6, carbon fiber around the exhaust, I see a rally art exhaust. Oh yeah, the bronze wheels look good on the silver. Oh, I like the 5 badge, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh, the Evo wagon, is this y'all's? Oh my goodness. Huh? Oh, okay, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, these are super rare. Yeah. Yeah, there's only a couple of them. Holy cow. So this is awesome to show up here. Uh, Evo 8 or 9 wagon. I can't, I'm not, I'm not the best with 8 or 9s. Rocking the miniature on the valve cover. Oh, that is so cool. You don't see these often. If you guys want to follow this Evo, there you go. It's an Evo 9 wagon. There you go. That is sick. I've only seen a handful of these things in real life. Apparently they're all over Tokyo, but I do like the Lancer Evolution uh, rear strut bar there. It's pretty cool. 
what is this doing here? We'll come back to you. <laughs> a silver Mark IV Supra. Some bronze Volk T37s. What's going on, man? Oh, I'm loving this TRD Strub Bar. That's nice. Hell yeah. It looks to be mostly stock. I still, I still see the stock side mount intercooler in there. I do like the side skirt uh, add-ons and carbon fiber. It looks really good. If you guys want to follow the silver bullet, there's his IG. Recaro seats. That's that's clean. That's a really clean car. I like the simplicity of it. I see a Tomei TI, it looks like. Nice titanium exhaust. And we got the TRD wing and the, the champagne charcoal colored gunmetal, I guess I'd say. I do like the TRD wing, so. There's a good caution tape on it. <laughs> Looks like a crime scene out here. Aftermarket wheels. Super sequential blow valve. Custom, some intake. Motion Mishimoto uh, radiator. Nice big front mount. I like that front bumper. Is that the Duluk front bumper? Hey, Ozzy, is that the Duluk front bumper? Is that what? Duluk? Uh, I, I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember either. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a Duluk. I have, to, I have to Google. I'm not that, sure. That's the TRD hood. Yeah, the, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Got the TRD hood on there. I didn't, it didn't even notice that because it popped. So we got a Camaro out here. You're good, bro. It is very odd to see a T-top Camaro in Japan. <laughs> it appears to be all stock. Obviously left-hand drive. <laughs> it's so weird. But uh, this Miata, every time I see this Miata, it's getting better and better. Last time I saw it, he had the, the uh, roll cage. And now it's got some black Coney wheels on it, I think. I have to watch the video. I can't remember if that was on there last time. Oh, God, I got some in my eye. It's burning. Oh. Check out the door panel. I mean, that's awesome. The Nardi wheel. These seats though, are my favorite part. Love these seats. Really, really nice. Jeep halo headlights. So, if you guys recognize this car from the last video, it's not out yet, it'll be out tomorrow actually. But this is the C33 Laurel I got to drive. Some work done to it. Buddy Club wheels. I also so I featured him in that uh, C35, so you definitely gotta check that video out if you already hadn't. Then we got the JZX90, works here, guys. I think this is Bobby's old car. Bobby Olson, is this your old car? I think it is. I think it's your old car, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. All right, so we're back to where we started, kind of. Um, we gotta show you. Geo's car real quick. This is Geo's car. You guys have seen this before. I'm thinking about doing a video that's like all R34 wide body GTTs. I have three friends that have them. So this is the blue. We have a blue one, a white one, and a red one. Oh, that would be perfect. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was short. It was just really impromptu. Not a whole lot of cars came out. So uh, tell me which one is your favorite. Like, comment, as always. See you next time.